This is the MSI B350 Tomahawk. Now it's a full sized ATX motherboard which is part of the MSI Arsenal gaming line. Now obviously from that this is aimed at gamers and those that like to show off their system. The board has a nice neutral black and silver theme going on with a few red accents thrown in for good measure. The AM4 socket supports AMD Ryzen CPUs and APUs, although the new Raven Ridge will probably need a BIOS update beforehand unless you get a board that has been pre-flashed. Now you can see my previous videos for details on how to do that. Now there are four DDR4 RAM slots which support up to 64 gigabytes of 3200 MHz memory, overclocked in dual channel mode. You also get a handy leaflet which guides you to the correct slots to use depending on how many sticks of RAM you have. Other accessories in the box are two SATA cables, the IO shield, a driver DVD, a reminder to register leaflet, a quick install guide and a nice thick manual. For storage there are four SATA connectors on the edge of the board. There's one M.2 connector here which will allow either a SATA or a PCI Express NVMe drive to be attached. Now there are two full length PCI Express slots. One is a PCI Express 3.0 time 16 slot which is reinforced with steel armor and the other a PCI Express 2.0 times 4 slot which isn't. The board does support Crossfire, but the second card would only run at times 4 speeds at PCI Express 2.0, which is going to affect performance. Now for other peripherals, there are two PCI Express times 1 slots and two old style PCI non-express slots for any legacy hardware you may need to run. On the rear I.O. panel, there's a single PS2 port in case you have any old mice or keyboards you like to use. And there are three video outputs, VGA, DVI and HDMI. But these will only work if your processor has integrated graphics. There are six audio connectors which support 7.1 surround, a gigabit LAN port, two USB 2.0 ports and four USB 3.1 Gen 1 ports. One of these is a Type-C connector. Internal headers on the board include two USB 2.0 and two USB 3.1 headers. Now for the power, there's the usual 24-pin ATX power connector and an 8-pin CPU power connector. Looking at the other headers on the board, there's the usual HD audio and front panel connectors here. There are six fan headers, four marked for system fans, one for the CPU fan, and one delegated for a pump fan. There is also an LED header which will allow you to control RGB LED fans and peripherals using MSI's Mystic Light software. This will give you full control over the RGB goodness in your system. Strange then that the LEDs on the motherboard are just red. There's a small red strip near the audio components and several red LEDs on the back of the board. Now the only other LEDs on the board are for troubleshooting. They are the Easy Debug LEDs, which are going to show up any problems when you boot up. So what are my thoughts on the B350 Tomahawk? Now this is a great looking board with some really good features, great value for money and very stable with the latest BIOS installed. The BIOS was really easy to use and I easily managed to overclock the Ryzen 3 1200 to 3.8 GHz with no issues whatsoever. Crossfire support is also nice to have, but I think if I was going to go in that direction, I'd probably look at an X370 board instead, as the extra performance gain would be worth the slight increase in cost. So to finish, if you're looking for a good mid-range full ATX Ryzen motherboard, then this should definitely be on your shortlist. So I'll leave a link to this product in the description below. Please don't forget to use our Amazon and Overclockers links. It really does help to keep the channel going. Don't forget to give this video a like if you liked it. There's a lot more to come on the channel, including more PC builds and reviews. The best way to make sure you don't miss any of those is to hit that subscribe button below. It doesn't cost anything. So thanks for watching and I will see you later.